What a result that was, ladies and gentlemen. That was fantastic from Sunderland. You know, I was actually saying on Twitter before, when we were 2-1 down, it just isn't going to be our day at all. Um, the yeah, referee wasn't being helpful with all two penalties not given. One of them, absolute blatant penalty, which I'm... I mean, to be, to be honest, I haven't seen the replay, but everyone on Twitter was going absolutely ballistic about it, so I'm going to assume it was... Blatant penalty. Um, yeah, it, it, it was. It just wasn't real. Daniel Diaku fucking not being able to fucking finish his dinner off. Like, it wasn't looking good until the Costa Rican Neymar, Jewison Bennett, fucking sued this shit and got us a point, which we deserved. We did, we did deserve a point today. Waffle fans can disagree with me all they want. We did. We deserved a point today. We deserved a point. Could it, maybe maybe could have even won it. You know, Jack Clark had a disallowed goal for offside. No one actually knows if it was offside or not because there was no replay shown for it. So again, could have... I mean, I mean to be fair, it probably was, it probably was offside because, you know, it is not the first time that Clark's been caught offside this season. So, who knows? But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. What's a point? I mean, to be fair, like, I would have taken a point before today. And, you know, the fact that we came from behind twice against a team who were in the, in the Premier League last season, away from home, with no strike, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's good. I'm fucking over the moon, but I want to keep my composure. I want to go through the teams, stuff like that, and just see what's going on. By the way, my face keeps changing colors. I got my TV on just above. So, something with the lineups with Watford, they had Backman and Goal, back three of Cathcart, Trusa Kong, and House, Pedro, Chowdhury, Simmer, Kamara, Ashbelet in the field, and Davis Kayambi up front. So then we had Patterson in goal, or nine, Bart, Elise, Gooch and Clark the back five. Evans, O'Neill, Pritchard, Embleton in midfield and Roberts up front. So it was Ben Wofford there, Bayo, Goslin, Capacelli, Akoi, Sierra Alta, I don't know how to say the name, Hungbo and Kalu. So then we had Diallo, Bennett, Diaku, Bar, Matei, Bass and Hume. Now for the first 35 minutes or so, it was all Wofford. Um, they showed the quality that they did have and obviously made the better start to the game and then did take the lead through Keenan Divs obviously on the I think I think it's on for Masson Villa either that or just was handling permanently I don't know but he put Wofford in front and then from there we actually managed to get back into the game Um, you know 40 minutes of being played Jack Clark not given the penalty again I don't know if it was played or not I've not seen it so I can't comment but from the reaction on social media and also Michael Dawson's guys posted that, he, that it probably we, we were look, looking not to get it. I'm going to assume it probably was. Um, but then like a few minutes later, actually at least I uh, just to scrum the ball over the line. Uh, originally it looked like it was being cleared off the line, but replay did show that in fact it had gone over the line. Waffle fans were fucking furious about it, but you know there has been replay shown and the ball definitely did cross the line. So goal perfectly stood. One and a half time. Second half, first five minutes came out of Hogan's Blazers, but then Watford quickly took over and got their reward. I mean, to be fair, I haven't seen it, but I pretty much know what happened. C- corner coming in, Patterson, like, fucking out. I mean, to be fair, like, Patterson, he needs to fucking command this box. So many times this season where he does not command this box, you know, the cross comes in. Surely, it's so obvious for the goalkeeper, oh yeah, cross coming in. Fucking go out and catch it. It should be simple, but he doesn't catch it. And I don't know how it happened, but 9 even though he was fucking facing away from our goal, he managed to fucking, he, 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 he fucking clearing it away when he fucking heads it in. And puts Wofford in front, I mean, two fails, I mean, I've not seen it, but apparently it was a fucking comical on goal from Luke 9 which is unfortunate, because literally all season we've been saying, oh yeah, this is a, a position, I'll send the back. But again, you know, you, you, know, you can't fully blame, you know, you can blame Patterson, you can blame on 9 whatever. And then we was Irish Bar might bring on Diallo for Embleton, then bring on Diakum Bennett. Waffle bring on Bayou, we then bring on Bar Matetti. And then, you know, like from the last 25 minutes, we fucking absolutely obliterate Waff. We are so in control of the game. We attack, attack, attack. And finally, Diallo puts a ball in. Bennett chests it down, put, take, put, 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 puts on his right foot, turns the defender, and then smash it into the bottom right corner. And the limbs, the fucking limbs from our fans were outstanding they were fantastic stuff from our fans anyway and there um you know i didn't see, i didn't see a celebration apparently bennett's celebrated hard 
But uh, yeah, I mean, to, I mean, to be fair, I'm fucking thrilled from like, like, to be fair, like, the reaction on Twitter was, was, was brilliant. Like, fucking everyone was just like, like, like to be fair, everyone was just full happy for Bennett, you know. Literally unheard of, like, literally nobody's heard of this, this, this kid before, 18 years old, flown halfway across the world from fucking South America to England on his own, does not know the fucking language at all. But he, to be fair, to be fair, fucking everyone loves him, you know, everyone loves him, you know, it's been great. And then that was the game sealed. Again, very happy with a point. Could have easily won it. But, you know, I can't complain in my opinion. Um, I mean, I'm not going to give any player ratings because I didn't watch the game. I'm literally just basing it off um, what people said on Twitter and what was happening on Soccer Saturday. So I can't really, again, can't give any player ratings. But overall, pretty happy with that result. And now we're going into the international break with four well-deserved points on the road against teams who have been pretty solid the whole season. Reading and Watford. Um, Reading have won all four home games before we played them. Absolutely obliterated them. Watford have won three out of four home games before we played them as well. Got a result against there as well. So, yeah, very, very nice. And done stuff in D. Currently fifth in the championship right now, which is fantastic stuff. Um, absolute dream start the season. Um, and you feel like obviously having gone in season, there were worries that, uh, that, that that we're going to struggle. But to be fair, so far this season we've been pretty damn good and really happy with the with the team so far. Sixteen goals scored, which is nice. All from open play, by the way, as well, which is a really I think I think that's a really good start. Good start as well. Eleven eleven conceded, though, which isn't the worst in the league but by any means, but definitely is damn to be fair, fucking hold. I've conceded twenty one goals already this season. Burr and Blackpool both conceded 15. Um, Bristol City conceded 16. Shitload teams conceded 14 as well, so it's not, not, the, it's not the worst. But it could be better. However, again, Wofford basically still have um, Premier League players in their squad still. Not a bad result whatsoever, and definitely a good one to have. But guys, that's going to be it for this match review. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, then be sure to give it a like. And if you aren't, then do subscribe. As you don't want to miss any videos in the future. Although now it is going to be in the national breaks. Which won't be any videos until my championship week 12 predictions. I didn't make one last this week because I fucking just, I just forgot. Really, but yeah, week 12 predictions will be out on the 30th of um, September. And then my Sunday Preston match review will be out on the 1st of October. So guys, that's me if I may. Just watch and I'll see you all next time.